If I Google Raspberry Pi alternative, I get some very questionable results back. Look at this. Arduino Una as a Raspberry Pi alternative? Bullshit. On the other side of the spectrum, there are some online tech bros that try to sell you a 200 US dollar board as a Raspberry Pi killer. Yeah, that sounds a lot like... Considering Volkswagen, why not buy Ms. Rotten instead? I want to share some real alternatives to Raspberry Pi. And what I mean by this is same form factor and roughly the same price with possible additions. And towards the end of the video, I'll give you some more tips on the board choice. First, let's establish the baseline. If I go to an official reseller of Raspberry Pi boards, I see that the oldest Pi 3 is 35 USD, mid-range Pi 4 4 GB is 55 USD, and top of the line Pi 5 8 GB is 80 USD. So these are roughly the prices and RAM sizes we'll be looking at. Also, another important metric that we want to watch for is the number of CPU cores and the clock speed. ROC 5C. Let's start with the top tier board, which is almost the same price as Raspberry Pi 5, depending on where you buy it, but you get a lot more in hardware. 8 core CPU, where 4 cores are the same type as in Pi 5, neural processing unit for accelerating machine learning inference, and Mali GPU. For slightly less, you can get ROC 5C Lite, which has less CPU cores and no GPU. Rexa, the company that makes the board, is one of the more established companies on the market, so software support seems to be decent. Orange Pi 3B. This is a mid-range board that roughly matches the specs of Raspberry Pi 4 4GB with an addition of neural processing unit, similar clock rate, but older core type. There is an M2 key slot on board, which is very useful addition, and 16 or 32 megabytes of SPI flash, which can probably be useful for storing the data that will be specific to the board. It says modern OSs are supported, including Ubuntu 22.04 and Android 11. Okay, mostly modern, I guess. In my experience, the software support for Orange Pies is a bit lacking, but to tell the truth, it's a common point for many of these alternative boards. Banana Pie BPIM4 Berry. More fruity names, yay. At the price point between Pi 3 and Pi 4, Banana Pi M4 offers quad-core Cortex-M53 CPU with clock speed of 1.5 GHz, 2 GB of RAM, and 8 GB of built-in EMMC storage. I was personally working with Banana Pi the most among the boards I list in the video, and the software support is adequate, meaning you'd get multiple OS images to choose from, and a pretty detailed wiki. Community-wise, Orange Pi and Banana Pi are the oldest brands of Raspberry Pi alternatives, and there is sufficient information about them on the internet. Libri Computer Lafayette. This is by far one of the cheapest boards I've found. It's only 25 USD on AliExpress. This is including the shipping. It is comparable to Raspberry Pi 3A, with some notable differences, such as an absence of wireless connection and also SD card slot. For storing OS and the information, you're supposed to use either a USB stick or an MMC module. It is somewhat an older board launched in the Kickstarter campaign in 2018, but looking at the website, the software support still seems to be ongoing with Ubuntu 22.04 and Raspberry Pi OS 12 Bookworm available. Milk 5 Mars. Now, this is a risky choice. Coming from rather new and unknown manufacturer, Milk 5 Mars is Risk 5 Architecture CPU SBC. The 4GB version is a bit cheaper than Raspberry Pi 4 4GB with a comparable clock rate. It does not have an onboard Wi Fi, but it is equipped with M2 key slot, which you can use for a Wi Fi module and it supports power over Ethernet. This is likely the trickiest of all boards to develop the applications with due to RISC-V architecture. Try it if you're brave enough. Which board do you want to choose if you're just getting started with embedded Linux? Honestly, none of these. 
Just buy any Raspberry Pi you can get. The biggest advantage of Raspberry Pi is its huge community that likely already solved most of the problems that you might encounter. The above mentioned boards, they might have better specs or lower price, but at the cost of the support available. What if you need something less powerful? You can run some pretty cool demanding applications on microcontrollers. So check if what you want to achieve can be done with one of these ESP32 chips, for example. Or if you need more power, watch this complete guide to NVIDIA Jetson boards next.